Hey guys, it's Pure Venom here, bringing you another video. Uh, so I did talk to you guys about doing the external uh, inland drive with the Sabrinth uh, drive enclosure that I'm using. Uh, so I did want to put this uh, before I started talking about the review of the drive and also the enclosure itself. Um, so when I got the Sabrinth drive, uh, big thing is, is that the USB cable out of the box just didn't seem to work. It is rated for USB 3 Gen 2 speeds, so I did make sure I got a certified cable uh, from IO Gear. Um, I'll have a link down in the description. I just grabbed it off of uh, Micro Center, so whatever the cost is, I'm not exactly sure. Uh, but I did make sure I got the, uh, it's a USB-C to USB-C, uh, just because most of my devices are all USB-C at this point, so I'm trying to make my life a little bit easier. Um, but the big thing is, is that the enclosure itself very nice, it's very durable, very thick and heavy, uh, so it does keep the temperatures uh, pretty decent. Uh, I wouldn't say that they're terrible for being an external drive. Um, I know that there's a Vantech uh, NVMe enclosure. Uh, I personally don't have it, uh, I, just because I don't have the funds to continuously buy cool fancy toys, so if anybody wants to send stuff, I'm not going to complain. Uh, but I do use Vantech products pretty religiously. Uh, Sabrinth is it's one of my first times uh, trying any of their products out. Uh, like I've said, you know, I have a Vantex uh, drive enclosure for one of my external SSDs that I use. So, uh, but with this here, uh, I really do like it because it gives me all the speed that I need to do any file transfers or if I'm just going to try to play some games off of it. Um, even though, you know, my laptop isn't a gaming laptop, we all know it's the HP Spectre, so. Uh, I'm going to get into the review here in just a few moments. Uh, I do want to say uh, everything does come in the kit. So the screws, uh, there's a little thermal pad that helps with uh, dissipating the heat. So the top of the drive does get a little bit warm. Bottom of the drive is typically fairly cool. Um, I really haven't seen too, ma too many issues with that. Um, but... Performance of the drive itself, it's great. Um, I do have to say one other complaint. Um, the USB-C um, that's on the actual enclosure, it's a little uh, loose uh, for some of the USB uh, cables. So that's why I use the IO gear, it seems to be the best. I have a Samsung USB-C uh, Gen 2, and then I also have one of uh, the Inland branded uh, Gen 2s just to try and see if cables would make difference for speeds. They're the exact same thing. So if you can get a Gen 2 USB 3.1 cable, get whatever's the cheapest. They all do the same. I think the IO gear was like 20, 30 bucks. The Micro Center one was 20, or, uh, 20 25 dollars. The Samsung one uh, came with um, a monitor that I got. So I really can't complain. It's all, well, you know. So that one was free. Um, so if you can get free cables, it's nice to have. But let's get on the, with the review. With a little bit of movie magic, we are now here going to be talking about the review for the uh, Inland uh, drive going external and then also uh, with the Sabrinth uh, enclosure. So pretty much what I have going on right now, uh, and it does have the different firmware, so it does have a little bit of the fixes, uh, like I was saying before. Uh, but average temperature uh, for the actual drive itself in the enclosure, like I said, it does a good job. Um, so you're looking about average of 24. The highest that I saw was a peak of about 30. Um, and that's with very long sustained writes. Um, so I was doing a very long test, uh, the best way I can put it, to see where it would peak out at. Um, so about 30 is the peak. Uh, but average temps for the drive uh, with the enclosure on, roughly 24C. It's not terrible. does a pretty solid job. Um, also, I don't have much uh, written to the drive or even read to the drive. I, like I said, I only use it really as an external drive or even as like a little game drive. It's got my Minecraft stuff on it. Um, but overall, the drive performs very well. Once again, um, I can bring those numbers up. Um, so with those numbers, we're going to be looking at uh, roughly about almost a gig on the read side and, um, and almost 900 megabytes um, on the right side of things. Drive performs very well, handles large files. I sent a 20 gig file to it over USB. It didn't take very long for it to um, 
right over a little over a minute, I believe. Um, but still, the 4K um, does perfectly fine. It outperforms the standard USB drives. So I will definitely go and say uh, getting one of these as in a terabyte, it's not terrible. You're going to spend like, wow, for a decent, um, like 256, you're like, uh, for a flash drive, you can buy them as cheap as about $30. You can buy them as expensive as right around a hundred bucks. And that's, I believe what the Corsair drives are, are getting charged right now. Um, that's their XT drive. Um, but this is a terabyte that cost me when it was on sale, $95. The enclosure, um, I believe it's currently still going for about $50, $60. So it's not awful. Um, so for about 160 bucks, it outperforms those larger flash drives, also outperforms uh, Samsung T5s. Um, the T5s are only rated for 500 by 540. Those are That's because they're using a SATA-based controller. Um, if you go with the SanDisk Extremes, they can get to this performance. The thing is, is that you're going to pay significantly more for it. Um, and I believe Western Digital also has a drive that's very, cons uh, very comparable to what SanDisk has since they're owned by Western Digital. Um, but outside of that, like I said, I also did the Antutu benchmark just to see how, so I can get some you know, validation on, you know, file sizes, block sizes, and then also just go, going off of the default 256 megabyte file size. So drive sizes look to be pretty solid across the board. Um, now I know, like I said before, that there was an anomaly at the 128 uh, kilobyte. Uh, well, I can at least tell you um, the drive doesn't exhibit it when it's in the external uh, enclosure. So that might be something with just the older controller, um, since it is using, uh, the firmware 12.1 and not 12.2. Uh, I can dig more deep into it if you guys would like, um, do some research and see if I can find anything. So if you guys want comment down below, I'll definitely see if I can find some info, but as you can tell the drives right around where, um, crystal Dismark uh, was actually, uh, performing. So Atto gave me a little bit more insight on the drive with smaller file size, uh, with smaller, um, block sizes to the larger block sizes. So definitely larger, uh, forms of data do, uh, give better performance to the drive. But outside of that, guys, uh, like I said, I'll totally recommend the Sabrinth drive. It's not bad. Just make sure, um, if you need an extra, if you, if you do get a bad cable, just pick up another one. Anything USB uh, 3.1 Gen 2 should work with no problems. But I'll be sending another video out here, guys. Um, so if you guys do have any questions, please comment down below. Like, subscribe, definitely does help me out. But you guys have a great one. Enjoy.